Hi, Mr. Simon Shutarik. Today I have come up with a different topic, uh, which is why uh, should students choose IGCSE ICT or why should they choose for uh, computer science in O level? Why am I calling a different topic? Because uh, most of my video lectures are about uh, the topics of the syllabus, past paper solutions, and stuff like that. Uh, why have I? Why am I talking about this? Because I got lots of requests on my website where students were asking me, "Please uh, guide us and help us know which subject shall we opt for." Well, first let, let, let's talk about IGC, IC, ICT uh, 0417. ICT basically is a subject in which you have 60% uh, of practical based, which means you have three papers and P2 and P3 are your practical papers. P1 is theory paper. Well, even in P1, you have around 20 uh, to 25 percent of practical questions so I would rather say that 70 percent of the syllabus is practical based p2 basically starts with word processing um, document production where you have to actually know how to use word processor to an advanced level use it with mail merge to basically attach it to a DBMS or an RDBMS software uh, database software uh, whether it's a flat file or a relational database softwares then you will be dealing with the databases in P2. Um, you students will know how to import a flat file database into a relational database such as access, how to make a relationship between tables, how to use sequential, sequential query language, and then how to make reports and stuff like that. Very good module, I believe. It's one of the most important, one of the most important uh, field in the future, in the next decades to come, which will um, be a lot uh, important for many students who want to become data engineers or data scientists on the other hand uh, then you have his presentation or seeing the same paper in which you have to make professional uh, presentations using PowerPoint p3 basically starts with web authoring uh, in which you will learn how to basically develop the content layer using HTML students are required to have working knowledge of HTML although they will be using different SDK software such as Dreamweaver to basically make the web page and use cascading style sheets CSS to basically change the layout of that particular web website uh, using the presentation layer. You'll also use a graphic software such as Photoshop to basically edit and manipulate different images provided to you. So this is P2 and P3. Uh, both papers are of two and a half hours. They are held twice a year, once in October and in March. Uh, April sorry March is basically now for India in Pakistan we usually have it in April um, you will have the paper um, in one of the centers we usually we have scans over here in Pakistan um, so um, you have to do it right over there you print you will do the task the required task you'll get the printouts and these printouts will basically go to CI for marking so in this specific time you have to basically fulfill the requirements uh, to professionally develop web page uh, Excel file well sorry I forgot to mention that in P3 we also have Excel so in P3 we also have Excel which is data analysis one of the most important uh, module I just forgot to mention that uh, in which students will learn how to basically manipulate a spreadsheet use functions and formulas make graphs and stuff like that well uh, now the conclusion well which subject which student should opt for. Computer science on the other hand will basically be there to discuss algorithms, pseudocodes, flowcharts, more theoretical based. So if, you, if you're someone who wants to go into core programming or want, wants to go into a very professional software engineering field, CS is obviously a good subject for you. But on the other hand, saying that, on the other hand, ICT is also acceptable by many universities um, for software engineering as well. So it doesn't make a difference. You'll not find um, even 50% of students who have a background in O levels, okay, who go up for software engineering or who opt for computer science when they go into universities in their previous high school. No, it's, it's not the case. Yeah, if you do it, obviously it's an advantage to you. So it doesn't make a difference. So if you opt for a subject in O levels, keep in mind that you're doing it not only for grades, you're also doing it for the sake of getting some knowledge. IGCICT is a subject that helps you to get the knowledge of these six modules, practical modules, which are very important in your 
practical life to come. So in the years to come, ICT will become very, very important because it's a prerequisite by doctors, engineers, businessmen should know how to use AutoCAD softwares and all that by engineers. So um, obviously, uh, I will record another videos next time in which I will talk about A level IT 9626 and I will compare it with computer science as well. I'll try to be as uh, non-biased as I can. Okay. So till then we will uh, talk in detail. Uh, you can refer to my websites, mrsime.com, sirsime.com, it's S-A-E-M and simeit.com. Uh, in sirsime.com, you will find uh, a page known as uh, student counseling, where you can basically get to know uh, more about uh, which subject should you choose, uh, different job prospects that you have in, in, in both of the subjects. So do visit sirsime.com. And if you want to subscribe to mrsime.com, you will find lots of video lectures over there, solve past papers, activities, through which you can prepare for your upcoming exams. Okay, if you have any questions and queries, please uh, let me know at mrsime at the rate of yahoo.com. Till then, okay, bye bye.